Hi everyone and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid and I cannot wait to talk today about Notion. This is a video I wanted to do for a long time already. And when I go to YouTube actually, let's just switch over to YouTube. And I look for Notion Review 2020, for example. We have all these Notion reviews there. I switched for a week to Notion. And, um, okay, it's a never-ending story. It's a really popular system. The only thing I, it worries me a bit, for example, how to use Notion, and we look into this, um, I see a lot of videos talking about using Notion as a proper project management system or as your task manager. And I don't think that this is really the right tool to use it. Don't get me wrong. It always depends on your personal needs. So you have to define yourself. What do you really need these tools for? For me, it doesn't work because I have a day job, I have a business, I have a team, I have, a, I have loads of different projects going on at the same time. And it's just too complex in order to bring it into Notion. And yes, there are a lot of concepts and courses out there showing you how you could do this. But I ask my, myself the question, why should I do this? Believe me, I implemented this. And when we dive into my Notion setup, I show you what I actually tested already, why I should use Notion with implementing loads and loads of workarounds in order to make it work half-baked to task management inside ClickUp or any other tools like Asana and so on. So the first part will be about why I'm not using Notion for project management and task management. But the second part will be how I'm using Notion. I'm a power user of Notion. Trust me, when you see this, I think you will agree. And I set up a lot of different databases and connect them with each other. And this is really the power behind Notion, I think. And this is why Notion is for me a knowledge management system. And I can tell you, this video is not sponsored by Notion or by any other company. It is sponsored by you, my Inner Circle members. If you're watching this video right now, thank you very much for your consistent support. This allows me to make unbiased video reviews and give you the right tips and tricks. If you're interested to join the Inner Circle, there you will have loads of in-depth masterclasses where I go into my i framework where you learn about input, control, output, refine. You learn how to apply your own tools to your productivity system, find your own tools. But also you have online courses Courses like for Miro and Todoist and also for Notion. This is coming very soon and it is all for free for my Inner Circle members. But also I can stay sponsor free on YouTube and the website stays ad free. Thank you very much. But now without further ado, I would say let's dive into my Notion setup and see what I have there. All right, then let's get started. So now we are here in my Notion setup and we are just here on a page called not used. Why is this called not used? Well, that's the setup I, I try to implement to get project, man project management going and so on. And a typical thing you see when it comes to project management and using tasks inside Notion is actually having a projects database where you have all the projects listed. So you see, I was working on several projects here and another database that's called tasks. And then you connect these two databases with each other. So you see this task is related to the project. And then when I go, whenever I go to this project, I will have all the related tasks here and we can work in this task and so on. And that's it. Then we have something like objectives that we can relate your tasks to and then we have bigger things like business categories and you can relate the project to your different business categories and start building up great dashboards and showing you all this i get it and and you say oh tom you're not using it properly you didn't even finish setting it up properly and so on and yeah why why didn't i finish the the thing that made me really stop implementing it when things like recurring tasks it's not there. It's not a thing. I have VAs doing recurring tasks every day. It's great to tick this off on the next day. It pops up again and they can work on this task. Don't tell me I can do uh, a checkbox and uncheck and, and, and every day. That's manual steps. And trust me, it takes time over the year or even over the week when you have to uncheck and check boxes. You maybe forget to uncheck and all this. So recurring tasks is already one reason why I'm not using Notion. The other one is task dependencies. Yes, there are videos out there explaining you how you can set up dependencies. It is just getting so 
overwhelming for people using Notion. I absolutely get it why teams starting using Notion. Why? Because it's so popular in the meantime that most people already use Notion. They are used to the interface, they are used how to set up pages and all this. And if you do so, and you're a team leader or you're you, a CEO having some people in your Notion set up, make sure that you set conventions. Because it is so freeform, people can do whatever they want. So yes, you can create templates, and I certainly would suggest to do this, but it can become really messy if everybody can do anything. These are the reasons why I'm not using Notion for project management, task management. Too many manual interactions, no recurring tasks, no proper task dependencies. Like, for example, viewing it in a Gantt diagram. Now we have some timeline views in Notion. There's no connection to my Google Calendar. I, I could go on and on why I wouldn't use Notion as my all-in-one solution when it comes to productivity. For projects like building a house or something like this, I think that's a great tool because you can throw in there a lot of information, whatever you like. And that's what we will dive into now, how I use Notion for the paperless movement. So let's switch back to my Notion setup. And now let's go to databases. And here we go. These are all my databases I have so far. This is not finished. This is work in progress. I'm evolving all the time. I'm watching a lot of videos. I get a lot of inspirations to improve things. And I really recommend this to you as well. If somebody tells you how to create a proper setup in Notion or whatever, any other tool, don't take it for granted. Think about what your own needs are, what pieces of this uh, information you could use for your own system. So, for example, I have the software database. In there, I put the software that I'm reviewing. Okay, so for example, ClickUp, Todoist, Notion, and so on. And then and I have a link with my videos database. So I collect all the YouTube videos I'm publishing or I'm planning to publish on Notion as well. Then I have discount programs. So for my inner circle members, I'm reaching out to the tools that I use, that I recommend to the companies there and try to get discounts for my inner circle members. So if you're an inner circle member, you know you have this website that you can access to get discounts like 20% off Paperlike or 15% off ClickUp and so on. And I keep reaching out to different companies to really cover a lot of ground for you guys so we really find a tool that you're personally using and you still get an advantage being in a circle member and then related people so i have the people database who obviously sep evans is the ceo of clickup for example or notion i have other people in here like august bradley he has great and awesome concepts in notion so if you really want to use notion as your single source of truth or your all-in-one solution he has great videos about this william nutt really nice tools for Notion notion and so on so this is how i collect this so now how this works i have notion for example and i have here all my videos i click here i have the list of the videos i click on this video and i see all the information about this video because it opens up the item in my videos database and then you see it's not only related to notion this video it's related to a lot of tools that are reviewed already and if i see oh there's something missing actually miro i'm mentioning in there as well i just have to click here and it will be added and now i have updated my my way there i see it's released already i see the video url i see the click up task and that's something i explain in depth in my master class when it comes to icor framework that this is a manual input because I see the advantages using ClickUp in order to get these videos done. But I want to have the knowledge management inside Notion because it's much more powerful right now than using ClickUp. And this is why I have it linked back to my ClickUp. So when I click here, it will open up ClickUp and it will open the related task. There we go. We see it's finished. I will show you this in another video when I dive into my ClickUp setup. So if you don't want to miss out on this, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. But now let's go back to Notion. And now you see this as well. I also have the thumbnail here. I have one word platform and if you're a Notion user, you see already the advantage here, having all these different information. I can build views where I see all my YouTube videos, you know, the software reviews and all this and filter by what tool is involved. I showed you when we click on this that we get more information. However, on top here, we can just click on Tom's videos. And now we go to the video database I have here. Now we're on the ideas database. Let's go to the released view. And in here it's loading. So 
Um, I just had a switch in uh, team members and I couldn't catch up. However, this would be important that um, we fill this back in, that we have all the thumbnails again available because I think it just really is nice having it there. So I could just go and say Notion and it will show me now all the new Notion videos. So let's just click on another video here and then we see again software click up. I go to click up, I can click here. I switch, jump to the click up software and then I have the related companies, I have the people, so it's SAP events, I can click on SAP events. We go there. I find the information here. Here is his LinkedIn profile. I can go there, one click, and I'm on his LinkedIn profile. So I hope you see the advantage here, how I can quickly find information. What I just did here, clicking through the different databases, it's not different from Wikipedia, for example. Talking about Wikipedia, let's just open this up. Okay, there we go. And here you are. All right. So it's a work. It's working the same way. We have here now. Konrad Gessner, he was the pioneer of the Zettelkasten method. So you see here, it was already having backlinks between the different nodes to make it easy accessible. And I click here and I go to him. So the idea of Wikipedia is already that you can click through this. However, there is no automatic backlinking. This is what you have now in Notion, but also in Rome Research. Because for example, when I look now for Zettelkasten method, on this page, Zettelkasten method is not mentioned at all. Okay, but as you have seen before, it was mentioned before here. He pioneered this. What happens in Notion and Rome Research, as soon you add, for example, Konrad Gessner and we go to this, you will have a backlink. So let's just go to Notion again so I can show you this. And now let's just say we have Tom's wiki. Okay, that's what we create here. And that's how it usually works. You have a page, so let's create a page. Okay, and this page is now living in Tom's wiki. So it's based there. So let's make another page, Settle Custom. Okay, now we have these two pages. Let's say that's the Wikipedia, isn't it? So I look up Settle Custom and in there I see that Conrad, so I can just use the add sign and it shows me the other pages and there we have Conrad, um, Pioneered, and so on. So what happens now? I have already a link back to Conrad's website. So you see here an arrow that points to this page. If I click there, we co come to this empty page. Now I can say he was living, whatever it was, but we have this up here, the backlink section. When I click here, now I see where it was mentioned. That's the big difference. This is something that wasn't on Wikipedia. So I have here all the content. I could now also say, discovering the settle custom. See, I can search for the settle custom. I click here and now I can click here, go to settle custom. And now I see the backlink to Conrad. I can jump to Conrad. And that's what it's called backlink. It automatically applies to the, the mention to the site where it was. And Rome Research works exactly the same way. And for this reason, I stay with Notion because I can do so much more. What else I can do? I show you now when we go back to my main workspace because I use Notion also for all my work instructions. So I usually recommend putting the work instructions directly to the tasks your team members need to do or yourself and creating templates and all this. But Notion is so much more powerful when it comes to this. And I show you right now why this is. And there we have the wiki where I have the trainings, instructions. So here, for example, publish new blog posts. And that's for my VA, how to do this. And you have all the information there. And that's the powerful thing. I'm using Snagit to make the screen recordings. All I need to do, make the recording, drop it in here, and it's there. I even can create GIF animations. So it's really in detail explained how to do this. And whenever something pops up in a discussion or in a meeting where we realize, okay, this was unclear. I go back to the work instruction and update this. So this is really important for me. And what happens then, this page, I just pick the link. I go to click up, add it to the task there, and that's it. So I think for knowledge management, building up databases, the connection, the backlinking, and also the work instructions, this is really a powerful tool. I hope that this video gave you some idea why I'm not using project management or task management inside Notion. And if you think I'm totally wrong, go to the comments below. Let me know what you think about this. If you think that was great and you want to learn more about ClickUp and other task management tools, let me know as well. And I didn't even talk about note-taking because that's also something I'm not doing in Notion. And there will be another video where I show you how to take proper notes. 
and what tools to use there. If you don't want to miss this, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.